Welcome here, I got six tips for you today on how to make the most of your meat grinder and uh, how to make this job as easy as possible. Plus, make sure you stick around to the end, I've got a bonus for you there. Tip number one, make sure that all your metal parts are as cold as they can be. I like to stick mine in the freezer at least the uh, day before and let them chill out for uh, 24 hours or overnight to uh, help make the cutting as smooth as possible. Tip number two, the meat cuts. Now you want to make sure that you don't have the meat cuts too large uh, for the size of your meat grinder. The grinder I'm using here today is a uh, Cabela's three quarter horsepower. So these meat cuts are pretty big. I like to size them about one and a quarter to one and a half inch thick. I find that works out really well for this grinder. Tip number three, make sure you re-chill those meat cuts after you're done cutting. In uh, the case of this one, I put them in the fridge and I let them re-chill there. Uh, you're probably best off putting them in the freezer for about an hour before you do uh, your first coarse cut of meat. Tip number four, let's make sure we uh, lubricate our cutting blade. I'm using the uh, Cabela's Food Safe Lubricant here. Now as soon as we take our pieces out of the freezer, uh, this is kind of like the last step when you have your meat cuts and all that stuff ready and you don't want to sit these things on a calendar or anything. Put it together and get right to cutting your meat. Having your bowls and stuff prepped is always a little plus there as well. Doesn't take much lubricant, just a little shot uh, when you're putting this thing together and you're on your way. Tip number five, let's make sure that we cut uh, coarse grind first before we get down to the fine grind. Uh, that does speed up the fine grind quite a bit and it's going to save you a lot of plugging issues. I used to skip this step, i uh, definitely learned a lot better since then. As you can see this thing just plows through the meat very quickly. If you want to learn more about this grinder, there's going to be a link on either side up above. I can't remember which way to point. That's a, a review of the Cabela's three quarter horsepower carnivore that I'm using here. What's kind of nice is this thing actually has a collar as well to keep the, uh, the cutting surfaces or keep the whole thing colder. Now this is real time, this isn't sped up at all. I know it probably looks like it's about one and three quarter or something like that speed, but this is real time. That whole slab of meat that you seen at the beginning did not take long, maybe five, ten minutes tops. I, I'm thinking probably five minutes. Like, I mean, I've got half of it cut there already in the time that you see it here. So it's pretty quick. Here again, as soon as this is done here, make sure you don't leave this stuff on the counter. Ideally, it goes back into the freezer. I did not do that in the case here again. I just put it back in the fridge. I can kind of get a little bit lazy with some of this because of the horsepower and how good of a meat grinder this thing is. Very forgiving. Once I've got it all done on the uh, fine grind, once I've got it all cut up on the coarse grind, I'll take and I'll swap out the disc at the end, which was sitting back in the freezer while I was cutting the coarse. Give it a quick spray of lubricant, slap it together, and we'll get right to the fine grind. So tip number six here, a lot, a lot of people when they start grinding meat they overfeed your feeder and just because this thing has a massive bowl on the top doesn't mean you should just jam it full of meat. It does the best cutting if you can kind of see, I know the lighting isn't the greatest here, but if you can see meat just at the front of the cutting uh, screw there, that's about all you want. You don't want to pile it up to the top of the collar because it's just going to end up kind of back feeding and not falling in as well. Now the bonus piece here I have for you today is how to tell if this thing is plugged or not. At the start here you can see everything is nice and clean and you can kind of see the strings coming out of the cutter. 
Now if you fast forward to, this is the tail end, now two things have happened here. The cutter is plugged and the meat's getting a little bit too warm. You can kind of see it's kind of squishing out instead of cutting as cleanly as it was in the first cut. So this kind of lets you know it's time to take that uh, cutting disc apart or just pull the wheel out and get some of that sinew or whatever's plugged it up. It doesn't take long. In the case of uh, the meat cutting today with that big slab, that was probably a good 25 pounds of meat. The machinery is getting warmer and the meat is getting warmer as well. So quickly I'll just pull that stuff out, put it back together, and uh, that'll be enough for me to finish it up. Another shot of lubricant doesn't hurt either. And I keep the same side that was cutting to the inside as well. Just to make sure I get a nice fit. Make sure you don't over tighten these things as well, just snug them up. And you'll notice the difference here right away on the performance of this cutting. You can see it's much more stringy again, it's not quite as forced out. So my cutter is clean and it's good to go. The meat that you have off the side or anything that you pull out that kind of does jam up, just make sure there's no sinew in there, if there is, cut it up rip it apart, whatever you want to do, and then just slowly, I'll take it and put it in with some other cuts to get it back through. You don't have to throw it out, you can still use it up. Now I did something different at the end here. Most of the time I just do one coarse grind and one fine grind. And this time around I took, and I did one with a, a coarse, and I ran it through a fine a second time. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that more or less. You can kind of see, uh, the texture is a little bit different. It's a little bit more blended. But I do like a little bit of texture in my meat, so I'm gonna try it out and see how, how it goes. See if I enjoy the double grind or the single better. Did I miss a tip? Do you like what you see here? Leave a comment down below. We'll throw a like or a subscribe on the video. Let me know that you, uh, if you did subscribe, let me know if you subscribed. And uh, I'll try to get back to every one of your comments. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy grinding.